What is up Kilo Crew and welcome to today's video. Today Randy and I are still in the beautiful city of Cork, Ireland where we are <laughs> yeah, so strong. Anywho, we are on our way to Tony's Bistro where we are both about to take on the Godfather Breakfast Challenge. Now Randy actually did this challenge back in 2013. Yep. And he is still currently the record holder with a 45 minute defeat of this challenge. Now I guess it's like a two and a half hour time limit which is a crazy generous amount of time but it's also a crazy amount of food. But anyways, we will catch you at Tony's Bistro when the massive breakfast challenge arrives. crew so the absolutely astoundingly massive godfather irish breakfast challenge has arrived here in front of me at tony's bistro this is insane there is a reason why there's a two and a half hour time limit i am of course going to try and do this in under an hour for your sake and my own i have the two and a half hours to finish everything you see in front of me i will go over more of course in the voiceover but there's a whole bunch of sausage black pudding six ounces of steak there's bacon scrambled eggs fried eggs we have a bunch of toast we have have soda bread, there's a heap and helping of fries, there's some onion rings in the back that you can't see. We've got mushrooms, tomatoes, we have baked beans, and then along the way I do have to finish a cup of coffee or I could have picked tea. But either way, if I am successful, I do get the $29.95 meal for free, a groovy t-shirt, and a spot up on the wall of fame. I'm hoping to become the first female to ever finish this. There's only ever been 15 winners in the past, and the only one in less than an hour was Randy way back in 2013 when he did the this the first time so that is a lot of uh, a lot of pressure on me right now this one is for the ladies let's become the first female finisher of the Godfather challenge here at Tony's without further delay let's pull our hair back and get this challenge started Woo! Hello. thank you ain't nothing to it but to do it one two three let's eat us a full Irish breakfast Woo. can we see it we can see See it now. There it is. All right, here we go. Let's start with some steak. If revenge is a dish, this is that dish. And it's good. This is a uh, redonkulous amount of food, if you didn't notice. Medium rare, just the way it'd be. But yeah, aside from the sheer quantity, everything was spectacular, especially that medium rare, beautiful, perfect steak. Final bite of steak, I think I'm making good time so far. Mmm. Ah. All right, let's start with some of these fries now. There are so many fries. I'm just gonna dump these out right there, empty. Ah, let's do it without ketchup for now. Even with two and a half hours on the clock, there wasn't any time for ketchup this early on. Just had to power through. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's definitely no shortage of fries, but at least they are delicious. Now let's do some ketchup. Let's enjoy ourselves a little bit. No need to go full tilt. We have two and a half hours after all. Leave a comment if you would watch a two and a half hour video of me eating food in the comments below. Please say no because it's never gonna happen. And on to the second pot of fries. Figured might as well live a little and enjoy a bit of ketchup and uh, break up that flavor of spud. Let's work on these onion rings as well. Woo, not the paper. No worries, no one wants to see me eat the paper anyway. Ooh. A really good onion ring. I'm getting like so accustomed to mega onion rings during these food challenges. It was a nice break to get normal human sized onion rings. All right, that's mostly it for the onion rings and fries. There's a few stragglers on here. I'm going to next enjoy me a black pudding, which is one of my favorite breakfast items of all time. Hmm. Figured I would reward my potato efforts with my favorite item. Ooh, that's a good one. I do love me some black pudding and I will happily put away the leftovers of those who don't care for it and uh, leave it behind. That is so good. Mm. Onto the white pudding, also delicious. I think what I enjoy so much about breakfast pudding is that it's basically like a hash brown texture with all the meaty good flavor. Sausage time. And once again, it's lucky they were delicious as there were eight of them. Ooh. 
It does seem as though ooh seems to be my go-to reaction these days. So uh, if you want to play a little drinking game with my oohs, go for it. I'm wearing high-waisted shorts this morning, which wasn't my brightest idea, but they look cute. Yes, fashion girl. <laughs> Some of these shrooms. I don't really remember my reasoning for dumping these on the platter. I do love mushrooms. It's like a little hobbit. Yes, much like a hobbit, I really do enjoy me some mushrooms along with my full Irish breakfast. Do some beans and mushrooms. Interesting combo. I like it. And again, I'm not the biggest fan of the big bowl of baked beans with breakfast, so I kind of just was trying to power through them pretty quickly. All right, and that is it for the beans. Mm. Ooh, excuse me. <laughs> Water time. Ah, all right, let's enjoy some of these straggler items. And by straggler items, I think I was wrapping French fries and bacon, if I remember correctly, and it was rather delightful. This platter is usually my normal breakfast, so. <laughs> Only four slices of toast, though. I'm not, I'm not a monster. <laughs> Probably isn't in my best interest to be doing full Irish breakfasts in between food challenges. I'm gonna soak some of the soda bread in delicious maple syrup. Soda bread is amazing if you've never had it. Try it. Mm. Another of my waistline's greatest enemies here, soda bread topped in way too much delicious Irish butter. Final bit of soda bread, so good. It just goes perfectly with a cup of coffee in the morning. Ugh, so yummy. Let's do some of these stewed tomatoes. I was uh, immediately corrected. These are, in fact, fried tomatoes, not stewed. Otherwise, I guess they'd be rather um, mushy, wouldn't they? Like I need to burp. <laughs> but otherwise, good. Final bite of the sausages, then we're gonna finish up these tomatoes. I have found that I'm not the largest fan of fried tomatoes. I'd much rather have my tomatoes as ketchup, the way they're meant to be. Final bite of fried tomato. All right, let's do some bacon. Mm, bacon, another thing that is much better in Ireland. I enjoy how thick it is. Ah, this is fun. <laughs> Final bite of bacon. Mm. You could uh, sense the sarcasm there, I'm sure. Hush brown time. As much as I do love me some breakfast, this was a rough morning for me after doing that massive holy cow burger challenge the night before. Ugh. I might be unbuttoning one on these shorts. Ugh. Not my wisest fashion decision ever, but hey, it was a very, very hot day in Cork. Final bite of hash brown. Hmm. Let's do this slice of toast with some syrup and an egg on it. As weird as that sounds, I am really jazzed for this. A little sweet, a little savory, but hey, you guys know I love me some maple syrup, but on that unique, little bit weird note, I'm going to leave you guys to enjoy the rest of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will, of course, catch you guys in the next one. So the goal was for these toasts to soak up the syrup, and it did not happen. I <laughs>We're gonna condense this down into a uh, single plates where you utilize every drop of syrup. Thank you so much, John. Stack this up there. Now this looks so much more manageable. Look at that. That's just not even any food at all. All right, Kilo Crew, we are full, but we are getting there. It's just eggs and toast, which is like a light snack in the morning usually. We've got syrup, life is good. Whew. Uh, chair? Yep. Yeah. yeah, we're just gonna get rid of a chair for a moment. Okay. There we go. Get rid of a chair, I just need to kneel. Look at these high-waisted shorts I got on, not a good idea. All right, uh, 10 out of 10 don't recommend wearing high-waisted shorts while eating this much food. Mm. But I did not undo the button. Cause I'm a legend. <laughs> Thank you. 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 I'm working on it here. Uh, one lady is about to get fired. <laughs> They're about to close. <laughs> Last bite, a little bit of the coffee sip, and we got this sloncha. Mm. <laughs> I don't know how you
not good. Oh my god. Oh, I struggled. Uh. <laughs> 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 Oh, that was painfully long. Um, at least it wasn't as long of a challenge as yesterday's was, but 44 minutes and 43 seconds was my final time to finish the Godfather challenge here at Tony's Bistro. Oh my goodness. I am officially now the second person ever to finish in under an hour. The first ever female finisher and uh, this one's for the ladies. Please more ladies try this. 500 people have tried this. Over 500 and only two of them until me were women. But anywho, for winning I do get the $29.95 Euro meal for free. A groovy t-shirt and a spot up on the wall of fame. That was absolutely amazing. As always I really do enjoy black pudding. I love Irish sausages and I always love fried eggs even though those were a bit cold at the time but thank you to everyone for watching if you haven't liked this video please like it subscribe if you haven't already and i will of course catch you guys in the next one okay peace out bye Ooh. very sticky fingered ah here we go i have defeated the godfather breakfast challenge i'll show you guys a really good photo at the end okay for real okay peace out bye Ugh.